Is it time to buy or sell NEO stock? In this video, we're diving deep into NEO. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, August 23, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since August 15, 2023, our system has ranked NEO as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 4.39. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock experienced a loss of minus 8.37%. This translates to an average loss of minus 1.20% per day since it was listed as sell candidate. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 59.81% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 59.81% and 148.97%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 29.06% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 61.07% and minus 1.10%. This translates to a price range of $4.22 to $10.72 after a year. Our latest daily update for NEO includes the headline, NEO stock price ended on $10.84 on Wednesday after gaining 0.463%. The NEO stock price gained 0.463% on the last trading day, Wednesday, August 23, 2023, rising from $10.79 to $10.84. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 4.76% from a day low at $10.50 to a day high of $11. The price has fallen in 7 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 19.47% for this period. Volume fell on the last day by minus 12 million shares and in total, 30 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $321.03 million. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $22.74, and the lowest price was $7. Currently, the price is 52.33%, or $11.90, below the 52-week high, and 83.82%, or $56.15 below the all-time high on January 11, 2021, when the price reached $66.99. Analyst Ratings On Monday, June 12, 2023, it was reported that UBS gave NEO a neutral grade with a hold action. On Monday, June 12, 2023, it was reported that Citigroup gave NEO a buy grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, March 14, 2023, it was reported that JP Morgan gave NEO a neutral grade with a downgrade action. On Thursday, March 2, 2023, it was reported that Telsey Advisory gave NEO a neutral grade with a downgrade action. On Thursday, December 29, 2022, it was reported that Citigroup gave NEO a hold grade with a hold action. Analysts have given NEO stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for NEO. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The NEO stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, 
there will be some resistance from the lines at $11.14 and $12.13. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, August 3, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 29.88%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 15 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 50 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 14 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 8 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 5 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 10 days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 42 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 37 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for NEO NEO finds support from accumulated volume at $10.78 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock may move very much during the day, volatility, and with a very large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be very high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $0.500 between high and low, or 4.76%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 6.3%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for NEO, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A negative P.E. ratio means the company has negative earnings or is losing money. Even established companies experience down periods, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P.E. ratios may signal insufficient profit and possible bankruptcy risks. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on August 29, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $0.360. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for NEO. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for NEO is at $11.73. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, NEO encounters its first support level at $10.78. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is NEO stock a good buy? The NEO stock holds several negative signals and despite the positive trend, we believe NEO will perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. Therefore, we hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Thursday, August 24, we expect NEO to open down $0.0600 and start trading at $10.78. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.